I'm Karen Larson with your evening headlines. Developing now, investigators trying to determine how flames sparked in a deadly house fire. Sepulpa neighbors are mourning the woman who died after being trapped in her home on South Muskogee Street. Firefighters found the woman, 62-year-old Joyce Ann Winslow, beside her walker. Investigators say the flames started in the front of the house. Now the state medical examiner will determine what caused her death. The city of Yukon is hoping to restrict where medical marijuana dispensaries can do business. Yukon's considering an ordinance that would only allow the dispensaries within a certain radius in city limits. Under state law, dispensaries are banned from setting up shop near schools, but the Yukon city manager says their proposal hopes to expand that, prohibiting dispensaries within 1,000 feet of a museum, library, child care center, or another dispensary. City Council will vote on that ordinance next week. Temperatures tomorrow morning in the lower 70s. We are tracking a chance for more rain and thunderstorms in the area. Tomorrow morning, mainly southeast of Tulsa, lower 70s in the city. Outline areas in the upper 60s out in Stillwater. Now, during the day tomorrow, we're going to see another round of showers and storms develop mainly southeast of Tulsa for some locally heavy rainfall possible highs in the mid to upper 80s by 5 o'clock. Look at your extended forecast. Look for 90s and upper 80s this weekend with a continued chance for showers and thunderstorms. And that thunderstorm chance continues on into much of next week as well. And that should help keep temperatures down into the upper 80s for highs. That's the latest look at your local weather.